Go the distance does the Sure Fall Scenic Bikeway. The ride starts with a 3.7 mile 850 foot climb. The first mile or so is the steepest, gaining 150 feet with grades between 8 and 10 percent. You'll get a little respite in town as it flattens out, but you're not done yet as you begin the long 2.5 mile slog to Wapanita Highway. This section is a pretty steady grade of 5 to 7 percent and you'll gain about 550 feet. We did stop at the ODOT lot for the view, about three quarters of the way up the climb. Not long after the ODOT lot, you'll turn left on Wapanita Highway. All the tough climbing is now behind you. The three miles on the Wapanita Highway is a gentle 200 foot climb. Often there's a headwind that can make for some slow going. You'll be rewarded with a continuous view of Mount Hood and occasional glimpses of the very top of Jefferson. The windmill on the right tells you you're nearly at the high point of the ride as you turn right onto Juniper Flat Road. From here, it's a long, gentle descent. Again, you'll have a nice view of Mount Hood to your left. As the road bends eastward, you'll have a great view of Thai Ridge on the north side of the Thai Valley, as well as Posted Stamp Butte and glimpses of the White River Valley. At about 13 and a half miles, you turn left on the Highway 197. Be extremely careful crossing the road as traffic moves very fast and it's somewhat sight limited in each direction. After two miles, just before you cross White River, you'll turn left on the Thai Valley Road. Again, be extremely careful making this left turn. From here, it's about a two mile fairly flat ride to the Thai Valley General Store for some well-earned treats. There's even some local art to enjoy along the way. Here you can go traditional Rainbow Pop or Nouveau SpongeBob. Just past the Thai Valley General Store, you'll cross Highway 197 again, so beware. After crossing Highway 197, you'll have about four miles of gentle rollers along the foot of Thai Ridge with one short steeper climb until you get to the White River Falls. Along the way, there are great views of the White River Canyon to the right. A very short gravel road leads you down to the falls. The falls are not normally this high in the summer. After leaving the falls, you'll have a short four-fifths of a mile climb of about 3% grade until you get to a fantastic downhill to the Deschutes River Canyon. You'll lose about 500 feet in just over two miles. When you see the railroad bridge, be sure to slow down as there's a very sharp 90 degree turn at the end. That if you miss that turn, you've got a nasty fall ahead of you. After the turn, you'll head north for a very short while until you pass Shearer's Falls. Just after that, you'll cross Shearer's Bridge. After you cross the bridge, you'll head south for nearly a flat eight miles back to Malpin City Park. The wind will have a lot to say about how enjoyable this section is. A headwind can make this a very long eight mile ride. On this ride, we had a nice tailwind, so it was a nice sled ride home. Thanks for watching.